Let's see how we look here. Yep. Hmm. Hopefully. Welcome in, welcome in. Just setting up. Can't get some music going, unfortunately. Oh, shiz. Ugh. Currently trying to set up some music playing. Welcome to the, another breakfast stream. Let me know how the, uh, how everything looks. Damn. Welcome in, welcome. Shoot. Trying to play some music, but I don't think I'm gonna get any for whatever reason. I'm gonna give something one more go. I'm using a really old phone right now. Kevin, what's up? Perfectly centered. Wendy, thank you. Wendy, if you join often and you see everything looks great let me know because that's awesome because i don't it's it's hard because i'm using the what you call it the mirror camera so i can't really see super well kevin welcome in wendy welcome in freaking wi-fi's and wi fees and woofoos we're gonna start in like five minutes jersey neighbor yep it's funny you say that because I'm about to bring, I'm about to whip out a Jersey-like food that I think you'll enjoy. Well, the food I'm going to whip out is controversial, to say the least, when it comes to Jersey and other places. <sighs> Music can be kind of hard because we live in a world where everything is freaking monetized. So I'm trying to get uh, music that isn't, what's, what's the word, copyrighted. Let's try something here. Antonio, it's, it's kind of always been in the background. Thanks for the comment. Um, cooking, it's definitely always been in the background. It's one of the few things where I feel like it can, you know, it does a few things for me. One, it, cord it sort of gets me in the zone. It sort of lets me hone in, focus, calm the mind. And then also there's a process to it. There's a little bit of art involved. And at the end of the day, you get to nurture people and give them delicious food. It's like, I can't think of many things out there that achieve all of these uh, fun little, fun little, I don't know the word I'm looking for. I'm really distracted trying to if you're just coming in, welcome. We're doing um, keep, top three reasons to keep living life. Pancakes, bacon, sausage. And jazz music. Which I'm trying to whip up for everybody right now. It works, perfect. Please let me know how the music is. Vince, yeah, you made it. Vince Martin in the house. Welcome. Jazz is discordant? Yeah, but so is life. Life is freaking insane. Jazz improvises, jazz flows, jazz has like a rhythm to it that is just amazing. I'm trying to get some music that's a little more chill, but also will not strike my channel down. We're gonna get started in like five minutes. What's up, Zach? Welcome in. Good breakfast, good jazz, yes. Good breakfast, good jazz. Today's breakfast is the first time I'm, I'm trying this. It should be fun. What's up, Betsy? Welcome in. Welcome to the breakfast stream. Something new I'm doing, something fun I'm doing. We're gonna get started in like five minutes. I'm just gonna kind of zone in real quick here. I won't be looking at comments for like three minutes. I'm just gonna set everything up. 
make sure everything's ready to go. So there's a nice flow to the video and I'm not juggling freaking six eggs at one time. Dun, 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 dun. Just over here in the background, setting up some, oh. Nope, see, I just had to pause it because this, this uh, music is not copyright free. Let's do some, let's take a vote, ambient or, ambient or lo-fi. Take a pick on what kind of music you want, ambient or lo-fi. Whoever says something first, that's what you, that's what's going to win. Lo-fi it is. Dankashe, Wendy. How's the level? How's the uh, audio level? <laughs> yeah, it's it, Vince. How's the audio level? Is it too loud, too quiet? Can you hear the music? Can you hear me well? Okay, cool. You know, we're chilling, we're moving, we're grooving. Sunday morning is what this is for. I'd say we could get started. So we're gonna make some French toast. We're going to make some tiramisu inspired French toast. This is something I've never made before. And later on, I'm going to introduce something that is pretty controversial in the world of Jersey in probably all the US. Um, that's a sneak peek at what it is. Victor, you know what it is. So let's get moving. We're gonna first make our tiramisu inspired. Are you, real quick, you sure that audio is okay? When I'm speaking, it's not too overpowering for the music. Let me know, let me know, please. Uh, Scrapple, yeah, it's good, okay, cool. So we're gonna start with a little bit of tiramisu cream. It's nothing by any means traditional, but I have this nice, sexy stand mixer. I actually linked it in the bio if you're interested to buy it or just check it out. It's heavy as shit, but it gets the job done. We start with a cup and a half of heavy creme. Heavy whipping cream. Got a cup of sugar into the mix as well. Man, my ADD just told me I should have informed people I'm streaming on Instagram, but we're on YouTube. Next up, a little bit of boozy, a little bit of boozy. Um, the recipe does not call for it. However, it's never too late in my opinion. E&J, it's brandy. I'm just gonna do a splash, a splidge. I don't know if that was too much, we'll find out later. And let's get a little bit of vanilla extract as well. Another thing I don't measure, I don't think you need to measure vanilla extract. I don't think you can ever overdo it with vanilla extract. Michael Davis, welcome in. Everyone hail, everyone uh, pray to King Michael Davis. I probably did like a teaspoon of uh, vanilla extract in there. And now we're just gonna wisp, whisk, this boy up. Really, you just don't want to get too crazy peaks. Um, you don't want it to over whip. We're going to go over medium speed and I'm going to hopefully do this. So noise cancellation is on. Got this whipping up over medium. Welcome in. If you're just coming in, we're making French inspired, French inspired, Italian inspired French toast. Some Italians might kill me, but you know, it's the world I live in. If you get crazy peaks, 
nothing bad. I mean, it just won't be that classic like whipped cream. It will be more along the lines of like a airy, almost like, I mean, I could show you, but I don't want to ruin this. <laughs> Cranking it up a little bit. If I had some vanilla bean, I would shred that in there. No, I'm not making meringue. Daniel, I'm making some whipped cream with uh, a little rendition with some mascarpone cheese. Mascarpone cheese is probably how you pronounce it. Got this whipping up over medium speed. Let's whip it up a little bit because I'm impatient. Fusion French toast. Yeah, I like that. I do like basic French toast, but I've never made this before. And also, I feel like this will get more traction on YouTube. Something for people to, you know, argue about. Oddly enough, a lot of my videos that have been the most popular always are contentious. People are always passionately saying, this is how you make a stock. No, this is how you make a stock. So it's fun. It's fun to sort of just take the leap into the culinary world and be like, yeah, we're fucking doing this right now. <laughs> Cam, I am going to be using a fancy bread. You're going to see it's going to be a uh, challah bread, Jewish delicious challah bread. If you're just coming in. Welcome. We're making French toasty. Vince and Victor, can you comment? Can you just randomly say um, like what we're making sometimes, like a moderator message? So we whipped up our creme. As you can see, it's got some nice action there. Just made a nice little spill as well. I think it could go a little more. Let me give a taste. What we're trying to do is combine this whipped cream with some mascarpone cheese and then it would ideally be similar to a tiramisu. So there you go. That's pretty good. Victor, I'm paying you with French toast right now. And scrapple. I'm gonna give it a little more. Just like probably 30 seconds more. In the meantime, I hope we are freaking chilling. I've been a little stressed lately. I think French toast solves a lot of problems. Breakfast in particular solves a lot of problems. Yeah, that's true, Kevin. Except, honestly, whole wheat. Don't be using whole wheat in your freaking French toast. <laughs> and you know, if you're in here, if you're watching, comment away, ask me anything. I'm happy to share, you know. Not, not overshare, but I'm happy to answer any questions you have. Open this up, I'd say give it another 10 seconds. Trenton, thank you for the comment. Let me read it real quick. What's your thoughts on most food YouTubers? Mm. I'm making uh, things from scratch. I actually like the whole idea of making things from scratch. Um, I think it's like a lost art, but I think a lot of the YouTube, I think a lot of the TikTok and stuff, um, especially Instagram, TikTok, you don't really learn how to cook. You just learn how to feed your freaking brain and get it, uh, what's, the, what's the word I'm looking for? Dopamine. You just reduce your dopamine tenfold watching these quick action videos on how people make shit and you don't actually learn anything. Hopefully, we learn a thing or two here. But we're moving on. I actually, if you wanted to see what over whipped whipped cream looks like, there it is. I think it might be a little over whipped, but that's okay. Because I'm going to add eight ounces of mascarpone cheese in here. Dude, butchery channels, Cam. I have like a reverence for butcher channels. Like, oh, let me turn off my noise cancellation. Yeah, I have like a reverence for craftsmen, butchers, bakers, um, just using like four or five ingredients. There's very little room for error. And when you make something delicious with those four or five ingredients, 
That's a lost art. So we're gonna whip up, if I could find my spatula. Cute little red spatula. We're gonna whip in our mascarpone cheese. Uh, the goal is to just fold it in. That's what the directions told me anyway. Maybe start with half and just, let me give you a nice view there. Get it incorporated. Mm-hmm. We're whisking, we're taking our time, which ain't easy for me. I've been rushing a lot of shit lately. There we go. And I'm going to add the rest of our mascarpone. Cream cheese, it's a good question. I don't, let's give it a taste actually. It's got kind of a cream cheesy vibe to it. Dude, good call. It's like cream cheese minus the sweetness, which I like. That's why, fun fact, tiramisu is my favorite freaking dessert. It's not too sweet. It's got a little alcohol in there. It's got a little coffee in there, cocoa powder, everything that I freaking love. Let's get this off to the side. If you're just coming in, you know, I'd imagine the stream is probably gonna last like an hour. Once we make this cream here, which you're supposed to fold, but I'm kind of struggling to fold in. Zach attacks. I am making some French freaking toast with a little tiramisu flair. Tell you what, this is actually a little clumpy. So I'm gonna go a little more aggressively in the mixing category. Sounds like something. <laughs> Give it a whisk, give it a mix. Smoothing out a little bit, but as you can see, there's still some clumps of our mascarpone. I think that's in part because I over whipped our whipped cram, which is okay. It's kind of just gonna go in the middle between. You're gonna see what I'm gonna do with that. <laughs> I mean, the taste test. It's amazing, tastes great. Just a little clumpy because I over whipped the whipped cream. Quite all right. Into the fridge. So, cream is made. Next up, what do I have on my magical list? Uh, we got to, we made all the cream. Oh, now I introduce, now I introduce the point of contention with a lot of freaking foods. Scrapple. I'm making Scrapple. I'm going to start a poll. I assume, I don't know. Is Scrapple good? Let's just make a poll. Is Scrapple good? Here is the Scrapple. If you're not familiar, it's like a Jersey thing. It is, I don't know what it is exactly. It's kind of like the American version of pate using all the nasty bits, using all of the pieces that, as they say, after they're done making hot dogs, they sweep the floor and make Scrapple. Give me your opinions on Scrapple because we're gonna start a little poll here. Dun, 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 dun. Is Scrapple good? Awkwardly typing in front of the phone. All right. So, Victor, this is pre-cooked, right? I believe this is pre-cooked. Ingredients, pork stock, pork, pork skin, cornmeal, wheat flour, pork hearts, pork livers, salt, and spices. So, if you like scrapple, you like all of those things. Let's slice her open. As we slice, I'm gonna get the pan up to temperature. It is pre-cooked, okay. Is the poll up? I don't know, let me see. Shit, man, did I not make the poll? 
Do you all see a pole right now? I'm gonna whip this baby open. And we are pre-cooked here, so not much to worry about. Minus cutting myself live on cam. Sure is a unique block of meat, but I freaking love it. And there's two types of scrapple. There's turkey, there's beef, there's pork. Pole is working perfect. I can't see it. And one trick I like to do is kind of always keep one hand as a clean hand. This will hold the knife, this will hold, if we were presumably using raw meat, this would hold uh, the clean stuff. You know, you go to season some salt, grab it with your clean hand, you got your dirty hand here, just working this scrapple out of here. What the fudge? Okay, there we go. Block of scrapple. Got my pan coming up to temperature off camera, and I'm actually gonna cut it the traditional way I always see at diners here in Jersey, um, rectangular. Usually we cut it in the May house, square, but we're gonna go with the rectangle vibe. Not too thick, probably like quarter inch thickness. It really is just a block of meat, man. Taking my time. And then I'll show you the glory that is Scrapple. I believe it's a Jersey thing. I believe it's definitely like a Northeastern thing. And here we have it. From tiramisu to meat cake. Uh, in the meantime, while our pan's coming up to temperature, I'm just gonna wash my hands. And then we can move on to making our French toast batter, which is gonna be tiramisu inspired with some, maybe a little bit of alcohol, some coffee, some eggs. Should be good, should be something special. What meat is made in Scrapple? Pentral Bozo. I don't know, you can get turkey Scrapple, you can get pork Scrapple and they all kind of use, you know, the nasty bits, the pieces that you wouldn't necessarily just serve on their own. Just gonna come over here and wash my hands real quick. If you were just coming in, we were making French toast, we were vibing out, very chill thing. I've been trying to make, you know, well, I'll tell you what's been going on in life lately. Nothing too crazy, but it's been stressful as shit. My dad just agreed, yes it is. But no, yeah, lately uh, I've been trying to edit videos, I've been trying to balance health issues, and breakfast in particular kind of always brings me centered. It always chills me out, especially when you got some nice ass music vibing out in the background. But let's get our ingredients for the French toast uh, mixture. Oh no, 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 no. First, I wanna show you what bread we're rocking with. Challah bread. It's like a woven bread. It's pretty nice. It's, my dad's saying something I can't understand them. We're gonna get a cutting board first. Our challah, shallah, whatever you wanna call it, it's delicious. It is buttery, it is dense, it has like a firmer crumb, a smaller crumb. So it'll absorb our egg mixture, but not like get drenched with it. Get ourselves a serrated knife. Here we are. Adio, thanks for that. It's, uh, I appreciate that very much. Check out the videos, they're very chill. Some of them are chill, some of them are chaotic. Now, slicing this, I have like one concern. It's freaking weird. It's really like a unique shape. It's a braid, but I'm gonna try and slice it in about, you know, like inch, inch slices here. I feel like the serrated, braid, the serrated blade, very important. And I don't know how many slices this recipe actually can make. So I'm just gonna slice up this whole boy. Really quite beautiful. 
these slices. And challah bread just kicks ass. Just butter it up, put a little butter on it, even though it's like 90% butter. Slicing away. You know, I probably could go thicker, but I don't want to cook these too long. The thicker you go, the longer they have to soak, the longer they have to cook. And there we have it. Just simple sliced up challah bread. Nice, about an inch thick. It's got a really nice flavor. Buttery, airy, but it's not like overwhelming. It's kind of just like a nice um, light buttery loaf. Hard to describe, describe really. Get this over here. Clean up a little bit. Sorry if I'm not reading all comments. I'd like to interact a little more, but I can only do so much when I'm slicing bread, talking about what I'm slicing, and then reading comments. Take a little moment to read any comments. You got any questions for me? I'm glad you think it's satisfying. It's definitely uh, contrary to the current, you know, food tubing, slap this, cut this, sear this, and then boom, you got a steak with some freaking poached egg on top of it. I hope the music is nice and not too, you know, overpowering. Challah bread, challah bread is mostly eggs. Elizabeth May, AKA Mia Madre. Yes. <laughs> Paul, Mitch, yes. That's what I'm talking about. I'm gonna bring you over now to sear this scrap. I just wanna show you what this scrapple looks like and then we'll move on to making the French toast. Boom, ba boom, boom, boom. Sorry for my face. Righty ho. Got all our French toast stuff gathered over there. Mm. All right. I'd say we're over, let's crank this up, probably like medium heat. I forgot to grab my oil, bear with me. Victor, do you need oil to cook scrapple? I know there's a lot of fat in there, but I feel like a little bit wouldn't hurt. Scrap, oh. Yes, Vince, hell yeah. I didn't know you could do that, thanks. Currently on, Currently uh, not being paid yet. You gotta lube the pan, thank you. <laughs> Spoken like a true New Jerseyan. Yeah, made that word up on the spot, New Jerseyan. I'm assuming, you know, we're going over medium low heat. Where's the liquor? I'm sure you had your uh, fill of liquor, Rachel. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Little peanut oil, just a little splidge. I'm trademarking that word, by the way. You know what, nah, a little more. Peanut oil, it's got a high smoke point, pretty neutral in flavor, great for frying almost anything. I just fried up some chicken cutlets with it. I thought it turned out pretty good. Oil's got a little shimmer to it. Hope you can see that. And now we're gonna lay in our scrappy. Honestly, let that kick up a little more. My, uh, my spidey senses are telling me we need a little more time. Zach, thank you for the stream. I mean, the stream. Thank you for the subscription. Now I'm a real streamer. Thank you for the sub, Zach. I like that, I like that a lot. Let's lay these away from us. Yeah. Can we put one more in? Probably not, that's grinding my gears a little bit. We can break one in half, why not? 
Just pressing it down a little bit so we get nice contact. I actually, I think this scrapple needs quite some time, which is perfect because I'm dicking around in the background here. What do we need? <laughs> Cooking scrapple, vibing out. Not freaking out, vibing out. Everything's fine in the background, I promise. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. When should we give this a flip here? What do we say? What do we say? I don't know. The contentious scrapple. Time will tell. Let's check it out. Let's check out our first slice. Oh, wow. Yeah, that needs quite some time, huh? So we're going to let that vibe out. In the meantime, come on over to me. We're going to make some... French toast. I agree, Wendy. I need some serious browning. When I worked in a breakfast joint for about, I don't know, like six months or so, the scrapple always took a little time, but we would deep fry it. Hopefully everything's nice and in center. Let's make our French toast and broth. If you're just coming in, that's what we're making. I just said French toast broth. We're making a mixture to soak our French toast in. So we start off with some heavy cream, or no, is this real quick? Let me check here. Oh, no, 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 no. I see what we gotta do. We initially begin with coffee. This is brewed coffee. Um, I actually, you know, it's brewed coffee. It's actually some instant coffee powder. You're looking at, I believe, half a cup, but I got everything in the description. Throw this in our bowl. I'm gonna set a timer to turn our scrapple. Next we got some sugar, half a cup or a third, I believe, of sugar. Everything is in the description. Eat that out of here. Now we're just gonna combine it. Hopefully you can see everything. Mix it up, mix it up. That's nice and mixed, nice and frothy. It's got to probably taste amazing. It does, it's sweet coffee, hello. Now we go in with some half and half. Um, cup and a half, I believe. We're making our French toast, what do you call this? French toast sauce, French toast batter, I don't know. Nice fat pinch of salt. I feel like you can always go a little more with the salt. Same with vanilla. I measured this out. This is a about a half tea, half tablespoon, but you know, go crazy if you want. Why not? We could add a little more. We could add a little more. Do 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 do. Perfecto. Okay. Eat that out of here. Moving on. The recipe doesn't call for this, but I want to add more liquor because why not? Just to make sure it tastes okay. Tastes fine. I think it'll do just fine. All right. Now we're going to stir this till it's combined. I am following a recipe, but I always improvise. While I'm moving along, while I'm whisking along, I always taste as I go. This is why I like cooking versus baking, because when you're baking, you kind of just got to put stuff in the oven and pray it's going to work out. Cooking, you can taste as you move along. 
I'll give you a little look at our scrapple. Yeah, we're flipping it off camera, off the heat. Why the hell not? Give it a flip. Nice browning there. Wendy, do you approve? What do we say? Is this jersey approved? Fuck yeah, it's jersey approved. Look at that. Come on, Wendy. Victor, I know it's okay. Start another timer for that. Let me check out the comments. Can you overcook Scrapple? <laughs> no, I don't think you can. So we got a lot of our faux tiramisu mixture in here. Just gonna give it a taste test. And also crank open a window cause it is getting scrapply smoky up in here. It's very nice. It tastes like a uh, frappuccino <laughs> with a little alcohol. And honestly, I don't think anyone's gonna care. I'm not an alcoholic, I promise. I know that's exactly what an alcoholic would say, <laughs> but, I'm not, but I'm not, man. Coming in, um, we are making French toast. We're making some scrapple, which is contentious, I realize, but it's something I love, especially the turkey scrapple. Yeah, I don't know if it does either. Uh, honestly, you know, the traditional vibes with um, a lot of Italian cuisine. I feel like some of them could probably kill me, but we're gonna uh, improvise here. There's always that debate with traditional versus untraditional versus what just tastes fucking delicious. Gonna grab a bowl. Actually, no. We don't really need a bowl. We're just gonna crack directly into our container here. The two hand crack, why the hell not? Flat surface. It's always helpful. Flat surface, you're not gonna get eggs. You're not gonna get shells in your eggy boys. Although I just saw a shell go in there. That's no bueno. One more crack. Our scrapple demands to be flipped. Let me see, this is another beautiful thing about cast iron. It's retaining some crazy heat as I'm flipping this off the freaking burner. Yo, yo, sticking. It's perfectly brown in my opinion. No, it was perfectly brown. See that? As I get some oil in the face. I'm gonna plate those up real quick and get our other scrapple on. I wish I could bring the camera with me, but we got a lot of moving parts right now. Scrap, scrapple. I hear my dad currently playing me. we have it. Jock. Yep. Jock is in here. Yep. That's daddy me. I'm cooking some French toast. Mr. I can't pronounce. Gonna get our other scrapple on the pan. Off camera over here. Addition this out. So, set another timer for our scrapple. Two minutes each side seems to be the magic little uh, number. Happy St. Patrick's Day, everyone. Time to meet some strangers. All right. You want to take some scrapple for the road? A 
let's fish out our eggshells. Yeah. Vince, okay. thank you for that. I appreciate that. Going after our eggshells. Uno. I saw two more in here. Due. And I don't see the other one, but we're gonna get whisking. Okay. Now we whisk everything up till it's nicely emulsified. Nicely mixed. Six eggs we have here. Whisk, whisk, whisk. <laughs> yeah, I, you know why? What's your name? Cave on YouTube. If you have your own YouTube channel, I may check it out. But I took a poll earlier to ask when I should do a breakfast stream. And people said 10 a.m. is the move. And I, I'm sure you know, if you have a YouTube channel, our viewers tell us to jump and we ask how high. <laughs> yeah, Victor's getting some eggshell. There we have it. Hopefully she's nice and mixed up for you. You can see. Nice and combined. It's got an almost custard-like vibe. And check in on our scrapple. And move along here. And then once we flip the scrapple, I'm gonna switch to a little point of view for you. Yeah, Kavi, it's brunch, man. There ain't no rush, that's for sure. Here we have Scrappy. Let's give it a flip, see how we did. Uh, it should just release right off the pan. Needs a little more. Definitely needs a little more love, but it's okay. All right. Yeah, I'm learning Scrapple is pretty... Ow. The Scrapple just hit me with some shrapnel, but I'm learning it's pretty durable. Yeah, you don't want to know. It's a whole lot of... I'm gonna bring you over with me. Right, right. We gotta take time with it. We gotta spend about 30 seconds dunking each side. And then we're going to gently cook the toast in the pan. Okay. Come on over with me. There, oh, there we have our scrapple cooking away. Now let's have some fun. Vimar coming in, clutch a Rooney. Baseball boys, would you read would you read what Vince just said? Vince is the homie. Vince is taking care of us. Sorry if that was a little aggressive, baseball boys. <laughs> Here we are. So sliced up. Shala, hala, whatever you want to call it. Dunk it. About, you know, 30 seconds each side. Let that, let that have some fun. Let that hang out. Kevin, thank you for the, uh, I appreciate that. And so does the scrapple. It's got, it's got a little more time to it. I really appreciate that. All right. So this is where we're really gonna just kind of vibe out here. I'm so impatient, it hurts. Internet having probs? Is it still kind of having issues or no? Is it okay? Kavion, I don't know what you said, but I'm sure it's forgiven. So we're soaking it, we're dunking it. 
we want that egg mixture to really penetrate. And uh, at the end of the day, we're kind of making something similar to, um, you know, like a bread pudding. Wendy, glad you liked the view. That's, ooh, baby. She's soaked, that's for sure. There we have it. Get more in there. And check on our scrapple. That's the crisp we want. That is a crisp we want right there. That thing out. Well, let's try some English again. Let that hang out there for another minute. Give our French toast, our tiramisu inspired French toast a flip, right? We got some thick slices, soaking up all that egg. There's a bubble coming out of there. That means it's soaking it up. Pentrell Bose. That is exactly the comment I would expect when, when one sees Scrapple. Um, you either love it or you hate it. And I don't know if I can take off the uh, pole, but yeah. It's, you know, it's, it's contentious. That's why I freaking made it. That's why I whipped it out, because YouTube loves that stuff. Pulling this off. We got our uh, French toast laying on a grate here. It's gonna hang out. Dunk her again. Coming back to our scrapple. Actually have that off the heat. And I'm gonna go real quick, try to find another grate so we can rest our scrapple on it. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, back, back. Running out of room. This is the, the Mitch May predicament here. That soak up, all that lovely egg, all that custard, all that flavor we put in here. Just organizing in the background. Here, let me give you a better view. That's what I'm working with right now. I don't need this. I don't need my knife. Organize here. We need a little bit of parchment paper because I don't want to get egg on my countertop. All right. Now, transition there. Moving along, moving along. This French toast is saturated and that's the goal. You know, you wanna really get, like I said, a, like a bread pudding vibe. Let me grab our scrapple. Scrappy scrap. I don't know if the pole is still up. Victor Vince, you see the pole still? You guys still see the pole? And I'm actually going to try some of the scrapple for you. I know, I know. Give that a flip. What do you all see? It's still up? All right. Tell you what, I don't know how to take that pole down, so <laughs> that's gonna remain for quite some time. Right, righty ho. Real quick. This shit's crazy. Shift our Frenchy toast onto another grate. This way it can drain a little 
bit. Make it. This little slice, that's for the birds, I guess. Let's move, turn you around. Wow, it doesn't even look like, it looks like we're gonna run out of our, so that's okay. We got one, we got what, four, six, eight slices here, so that's more than enough. And these ones will be a good test to see what happens when you run out of your batter. So, we're chilling, we're chilling. Wendy, thank you very much. That's freaking awesome. I really appreciate the tip. You just paid for the challah bread and the eggs. And Kevin, you paid for, well, Victor bought the scrapple, but you just supported me big time. We got our French toast vibing out. We have it now all soaked. Couldn't really soak it all the way, but that'll be a good test run to see what happens when you don't soak your French toast completely. Mm, just drizzle a little bit on top, pal. Get that out of the way, and let's come over to our stove to finally sear up this French toast. Oh yeah, she's nice and saturated. She's nice. It's full of that flavor, of that tiramisu vibe we got going on. Gonna get the stove on. Probably, you know, I'd assume we're trying to cook this at like a medium low. You don't wanna cook it too high because then the eggs are going to cook and the inside's gonna remain raw, which is freaking gross. I'm gonna get this John over here. Oh, baby, yeah. A little tidy up. It's always the fun part of cooking. Give the hands a rinse. And then I'll take some time to read some comments. Boom, ba -da boom, 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 boom. Oh, here's a scrapple. Here's a scrapple, if you're familiar or unfamiliar. I freaking love this stuff. It really is hot, but it's freaking delicious. It's as hot as it is delicious. Crispy. I don't know how I would describe the flavor. If you've had Scrapple, how would you describe the flavor? But let's take some time to read some comments. Looks similar to Spam. <laughs> yep, it's got that crunch to it. With the bread, Sub-Zero, you're gonna see when it is finished. You're gonna see what we're working with. Zach's Attack, um, cool name, first off. Second. I've been trying to stream every Sunday around 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. <clears throat> you know, I usually make videos, but I find this is very chill, very relaxing, and um, super enjoyable for me because I don't have to freaking edit. Editing is a bitch. I don't know if I can say that, but I just did. So, Recap, if you're just coming in, we're making French toast, tiramisu inspired. I have some scrapple I made in the back. I have some similar, it's a little over whipped, but some inspired whipped cream with a little mascarpone cheese. We got our French toast soaking up with some coffee, a little liqueur, liquor. I don't know why people say liqueur and we're gonna fry this up very soon. Just gonna come over and bring our, uh... now, I would like to cook on two pans. I gotta really quick scrub out our scrapple pan. Published footage. What is this? This is your worst nightmare, buddy. We're making French toast. Tiramisu inspired French toast. I'm in the background just cleaning a pan. <laughs> Not the coolest thing to watch, I know.
And I am working on a really nice presentation. All right, pan is clean. Bring that up to temperature. And we're going to set up our station. I would like to ideally have people cook with me, you know, um, you could follow along with me one day. I think that'd be neat. I think that'd be interesting. That guy's, that guy just gave out his address. Let's see here. So for crisping up this French toast, I'm thinking we do like kind of a one-to-one -one ratio of butter to oil. I really like the flavor butter lens. And also if you hit it just right, that butter will brown and lends a really nice nutty caramely flavor. So we're going to try to do that. We're going to do one-to-one -one peanut oil to butter. And grab some butter. Trying to maintain our level of sanitation here. If I think really quickly, I need a serving dish. I need a dirty dish. I'm gonna grab those real quick. I need a clementine. Freaking love clementines. Actually, no, these are little cuties. Cuties, if you're not familiar, are little oranges. I don't know, they're delicious. I'll see ya. Ooh, but they do shoot some orange, some zest up in your nose. As a person lost in the woods, I find this very helpful. Yeah, you know, you can find these pretty much anywhere in the woods. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Alrighty, time to bring you over to the pan. Welcome in, welcome in. Ignore my freaking burnt jaw. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Sorry for me chewing orange in the background. Cutting up some butter. You know, fire with any questions you have for me. What's going on? How the day's been? What the hell's up with French toast? Why am I making it? <laughs> I think this will be either really good or kind of strange. Time will tell. All right, we got our butter. Got our pan coming up to medium heat. Satsumas, what is uh, Satsumas? Pentrol, fire away, what's your question? Fire away. Got our pans, medium heat. Now I'm in the fortunate position to have uh, convection burner, so it's kind of juggle. Tiny version of an orange, yes. I am currently throwing something in the recycling bin. Hmm. All righty. How are we looking? Jarvis, I'm making some French toasty. Some French toast inspired French toast. All right, medium heat. Let's add a whole lot of peanut oil. Probably, you know, just like that much. That's the official term. Pat of butter. Once this stops foaming, we are to cook. I'm actually gonna do the same thing on the pan to your right. You should eat Scrabble. I agree, I agree. Okay, 
give it a swirl, give it a mix, get everything nice and acquainted. Mm -hmm. So the oil actually fortifies the butter. It allows it to not burn as easily. Let's go in with our French toast. Low and slow is the game here because it's soaked. It is soaked, soaked, soaked. Kidok. Let that do its thing for about a minute. Uh, you know, probably like two, two minutes each side. French toast, uh, you know, it's not, I wouldn't say it's my favorite, but I freaking do enjoy it. It's pretty good, pretty, pretty freaking amazing. Especially when you make like some luxury French toast, you know. But I have eggy hands, which isn't good. Got mother freaking eggy hands. <sighs> Touch it, you know, you want it to just cook away gently. We got two over here. Victor, thank you for the dollar. <laughs> we got our Johns going there. Pow, pow. Zach, I always take suggestions. Fire away. Fire away, please. I'm gonna start a timer for two minutes just to see where we end up. Just moderating this temperature, you know? We need it to cook all the way through we don't want the egg to be raw. Dun, 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 dun. I'm sure it is amazing. I never made waffle scratch though. Taking a bite of scrapple. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Gonna grab another spatula because I don't want to flip these boys with a scrapple spatula. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Let's give a peek, huh? Ooh, a little burnt. Next time we'll knock down the heat. Honestly, I think that's a nice caramelization, but Next time, definitely knock down the heat a little bit. Just nice. So a thing I heard with French toast is you don't want it to, once it doesn't, well, it's finished, once it won't spring back, once it does spring back rather. So we need a little more time there. And I am now turning down our heat to probably medium low. Medium high was too high. Shocker. <laughs> We're gonna get these going. I'm gonna show you Nimco making some French toast. I'm gonna show you just another run around with these. Back to my freaking face. <laughs> I'd say it's getting there. Yeah, that one's, this one's finished. See how it doesn't bounce back? The bread is so misshaped because it's hollow bread. This is actually, uh, these are the two butt ends of the hollow bread. As you can see, it's neat. It's kind of like a twist. Published footage, I can make it better than you. Ooh, fighting words. Fighting words. Just kidding. Honestly, if you know a better way to make it, please comment. Please comment how you do it. I'm always open. See, that's a better, that's a better little uh, vibe there, if you ask me. Eggs love to burn. Eggs love to get black. Love to get black. There's no kidding in here, published. 
What do you think, this is some kind of breakfast joking stream? Because yes, it is. All right. So there we have one. You know, a little dark by some standards, but I think it's okay. There we are. There we are, there we are, there we are. Nimco, have you tried the Rocks French toast? No, but what the heck, what's going on? We got Snoop Dogg's gangster bacon, and now we got the Rocks French toast. What does he do? What does he do? I'd say that looks pretty to me. Let's test it for doneness. You get a little more time. Victor, thank you for the 99 centies. Matthew, I'm glad you think so. We are vibing out here. So you really, you just don't want that to spring back. Vince, you know where to find it. You got my numbre. Okay. So. Rocking out at medium heat. And there we have our French toast. And what I'm gonna do, instead of actually making, um, instead of actually making more, because you know, I don't want this to go on too long, I'm gonna plate up some French toast for you to show you what it looks like, to show you how I would prep this boy up. So, let me get this over for you. Poo, poo, poo. Oh gosh, look at that. Look at that chaoticness. Vince, yeah, I said it. I freaking said it, homie. There we go. I'll show you uh, what exactly goes on in Mitchell's mind. This is what we're gonna do. Cutting board. Clean off our buttery knife. We got some strawberries, right? I wonder how this looks if I do, uh... What's spilling on the floor? Oh, the eggs? Yeah, good call. Grazie. There we go. But now I gotta wash my hands again. Cause we're touching raw eggs, damn it. Thank you, Vince. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's make a nice little strawberry flower thing. Taking off the leaves, taking off that stemmy part, cutting off the edges, taking off the leaves one more time, cutting off the edges. And now, from what I saw, we're just gonna slice thin little strawberry slices. Freaking love paring knives, dude. Do it again. If you don't know what I'm doing, you are hopefully in for a surprise. Never did this before. I quickly just watched a YouTube video, as a matter of fact, and someone made a really sexy strawberry rose. Okay, and now if I remember correctly, they folded it out, just along each other, like this. Alright, and then we're going to fold it within itself, however, I don't know if she went this way. Yeah, she probably went this way.
No, dude, I didn't cut them thin enough. That's okay. I think it'll make a sexy little presentation regardless. But the idea is that you fold them within each other like that and they make a nice... The poll's at 370 votes, what the hell? It's quite okay. This is the first time, damn it. They didn't do what I wanted to, that's fine. Let's get a plate. <laughs> Zoom this out. Clean us up a little bit. Kind of PO that strawberry rose didn't turn out great, but it's what you get trying to make something for the first time <laughs> live. <laughs> Real quick, I'm going to grab us some parchment paper. Oh, ooh, I just got an idea. Hang tight for literally 20 seconds. Mm -hmm. I'm back, I'm back. I have returned, I have returned. This might be Brian's plate, I'm not sure. I love Brian Lagerstrom. Yeah, we're getting fancy. Dust with a little cocoa powder. It is a tiramisu after all, which has cocoa powder. Slide that away. Clean up a little bit. Just gonna dampen up my paper towel so I get a nice clean aesthetic here. This is where it gets really satisfying. I'm warning you. I'm warning you. This is where it gets satisfying. This is where I get in the zone. Right? Dude, cocoa powder do be making a mess though. A hey, dry boy. I have this idea, I'm not kidding. Um, kind of a dream. I was just Messing around, I thought a stripe of something would look really sexy. So, we got our French toast. Let me zoom out for you. Mm -hmm. Figure. We go down with a little blop of our whipped cream. Next, I do want to just see how our French toast looks off camera here. Okay, a little burnt-ish. More, more. This is our whipped cream. This is like our tiramisu, you know, it's frosting stuff. One more. More. It's obnoxious. There's a lot going on. That's what I want. All right. Now we're gonna get a little more of our cocoa powder. Dude, it's windy. It's windy. 
That sucked. Rather windy. We're gonna get some of our, what is this? All right. And what do we got else? Where did I put my strawberries? Here we go. Just for a pop of color. We're in the flow, doing our thing. We're making some French toast. Kind of just feeling it, I, I, you know, I'm going with the flow. I don't know what I'm doing. I think this looks pretty. And some blackberries. Have fun with it, you know. Get another jump. Mm, we'll call it there. There we have it. Hopefully uh, the presentation looks good. Let's dive in. You know, I suppose you could put a little maple syrup, but I did want this to happen right there. See how it's melting? See how we got some meltage? That's perfect in my opinion. And it's obnoxious, you know, there's a lot going on. Let's dive in here. Thank you for coming in. If you're just coming in, I'm reading the comments. I'm glad you guys think it looks okay. I really just had some fun with presentation. Um, that's probably a little too much for the plate. A little, a little too much going on. But let's get a taste test. No, I'm not gonna use freaking syrup on here because there's a lot happening. There's a whole lot happening. If we just cut into it. There's a lot. Tiramisu cream, strawberries, French toast that has been soaked in booze. It's a mess, but it's a glorious mess. It's almost kind of become like a whipped cream vibe. Mm -hmm. I think that's freaking very nice. I don't know if it's like reading tiramisu on the face, but it's like got a little bit of coffee, a little bit of the alcohol in there. Um, I could definitely pound way more than one slice. And um, let me see. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's over the top, which is kind of what I wanted. I wanted to embrace, you know, the American, like slap this on, go crazy. And, um, you know, as you can see, it's kind of just like a party. <laughs> There's a lot of shit going on, but I almost always think fruit is essential with French toast. You got all this sweet egginess, and then you have a little fruit, acid, acidic fruit to cut everything. And that's about it. I'm gonna wrap up making um, more. We have a whole lot more to make, but instead of you seeing me make everything, I'd rather just cook it and pre prepare it for you up front. So uh, yeah, surprisingly delicious. For the first time, I didn't get to make that sexy strawberry rose. Um, but I'm happy with it. And if you were with me for this whole time, thank you for coming along. I see someone else may have donated. I'm sorry I missed that. Um, but yeah, think about subscribing, seeing what other stuff I'm doing. I'm really, I'm just making videos in Anthony Bourdain's layout cookbook right now. And I do have some other ideas in the background. I hope everything was nice. I hope the stream was chill. I hope I didn't make too much of a fool of myself. And you know, I'm gonna try to do this again, maybe next Sunday. Give me some tips on some things you'd like to see me make 
maybe just a quiche, maybe a simple, I don't know, I made eggs benedict, I made pancakes. Um, yep, that's two things. So there's quite a lot more out there. Hello, Karma. Thank you, Wendy, I'm glad you were here with me and you could enjoy some of the scrapple. Although my brother's gonna be diving into that next up. I'd say that'll be all for now. Hope you have a chill Sunday. Hope you, um, your kitchen is a little less messy than mine. And now I will initiate, initiate awkwardly turning off the stream. Peace, Paul Mitch, I'm glad you like it. More to come, more to come, more to come. <laughs>